Morning guys. It's another beautiful day here in Washington State. This morning we are going to be doing a little knife review slash initial impressions. Uh, I know this is straight outside my normal content. I usually do strictly fishing and blogging occasionally. But uh, yeah, I have recently rediscovered my love for knives and tools. So that is definitely going to be reflected upon the channel from here on out. Not saying that I'm not going to be doing any fishing because fishing is still my number one love, but knives, knives, and tools are a second, are a close second. English is hard. All right, so let's get into it. Got our nice uh, box. Confidence in hand. I love CRKTs. Um, been buying them for years. Lost most of them, unfortunately and either moves or construction, that's where I lost a lot of my knives, was construction. Um, but yeah, I've owned probably 10 or 12 Steer KTs over the years. Um, and I was stoked to pick up one finally again. It's been, it's been a little while since I've had a, a Columbia River knife and tool. So, alright, let's get straight into it. In the box, we have our knife. called the Siwi. Got our knife. Got some uh, paperwork telling us about some certain things. And we've got our sheath. And our belt clip. So when you open up the box, these are not attached. This is not put together. Um, this right here is in a separate bag along with the har mounting harbor you see right there so you can essentially mount this sheath to this belt clip any way you want you can mount it scout style straight up and down canted any way you want uh, the way you do that is by using this little dot matrix deal and um, yeah it's pretty straightforward uh, it doesn't come with it doesn't come with instructions, so I had to hop on YouTube and look up a quick video on it. But once you get it, it's super straightforward, and it is one of the most seamless belt retention systems I have come across for a knife. Pretty impressive. So once you get that all taken out of the box and mounted up, you are ready to rock. Um, there is no adjustable retention on this sheath. It's set and it is stout. You'll hear a positive click when uh, the knife engages to the sheath. Very positive click. And uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere at all. You really gotta wanna take this thing out of the sheath to use it, which is good in my opinion. The ergonomics on the sniper are great. Um, you see all these indentions in the handle. These make for a very comfortable grip no matter what you're using the knife for, whether you're chopping, doing detail work, um, slicing, backhand, I don't know. Anything you want to do, stabbing, it's just, it feels good in the hand. Very, very positive grip. I don't feel like I'm losing the knife at all. Okay, so let's get into some backstory on this knife real quick. Um, this knife was primarily designed by Darren Saroy, who I'm pretty sure that's how you say his last name. 25-year uh, Green Beret retired, and um, he designed this knife initially, and a guy by the name of Chris Williams, another knife designer out of North Carolina, I believe, um, came in and sort of put the finishing touches on it, helped refine it and everything like that. And uh, that's why they call it the Siwi. It's the SI from uh, Darren's last name and the WI from Chris's last name. Saroy and Williams, so Siwi, S-I-W-I. Let's go over some quick technical specs for you. All right, I got my cheat sheet right here. So, blade length, 3.44 inches, 
overall length is 7.44 inches. It's SK5 steel, powder coated SK5 steel. Hopefully that's coming through. Yeah, there's that powder coat. Weighs 5.6 ounces, so it is a hefty knife. Feels, can't say it enough. Feels good in hand. Right weight, well balanced. Very, very, very thick blade on it. Very thick utilitarian blade. Handle is made of G10, pretty common. MSRPs on the CRKT website for $100. You can find it pretty much anywhere else for $70. So, just something to think about right there. Um, last thing, I know you're noticing this lanyard. It does not come with a lanyard. I made this one, threw it on here. Simple little box stitch. I just like to have a little something extra on my knife. I like to have a lanyard or something like that on a fixed blade, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do it to this knife. So, um, Yeah, initial impressions. Build quality is exceptional. Um, fit and finish is exceptional. The I did have to put a better edge on it. I don't want to forget about that. Uh, it came from the factory with a pretty damn good edge, but I finished it off with sharpener to throw a better edge on it and now it's sharp as stink um, yeah it's just super sharp I'm sorry I'm not showing you I'm sitting here cutting paper with it I would be showing you some other views but I am in the market for a new tripod um, mine broke so yeah, that's why I've got you guys stacked up on some boxes on my desk. So, sorry, quick aside. Put a new edge on it using this. Um, I'll be getting my work sharp back sometime soon. Um, Mike, let me know on that, bro. Because I got some knives to sharpen. I got some knives to sharpen. But anyways, I use this, which is perfectly good. It just takes a little more finesse and skill. Um, but it was just like riding a bike. You know, once you learn how to properly sharpen a knife, you don't really forget it. So I got back into the group of things and put a really good edge on this thing. So, suggest having one of these as a backup to your work sharp. But definitely suggest having a work sharp first. That thing is money. If you haven't seen my work sharp video, check it out. I'll leave an annotation link right here. Um, yeah. Oh, and if you want to see a link to my first knife review, and it is a pretty good review because I use that knife. I have used that knife and owned it for a couple years now. I'm going to put that annotation up there as well. So go check out those videos if you want. I think that's going to wrap it up for this little uh, unboxing, initial review, whatever you want to call it, on the CRKT Sui. Super nice knife. I suggest getting it if you're looking for a sub $100 fixed blade everyday carry knife um, this is one to look at for sure so from CRKT the Siwi again really nice knife guys hey I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video let me know in the comments below that's the only way I know if you enjoyed this content um, and let me know if you want to see any other particular knives. I'll try to get a hold of them. Or multi-tools. Um, I will be probably, yeah, I'll be uploading a few more of these because I've got a couple more knives slash multi-tools that I just really, really, really want to show y'all. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate the continued support of the channel. We're still doing good. Still sitting at 57 subscribers. Um, I'd like to make 60 by the end of the month, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Just going to have to keep working for them, y'all. That's the best way to do it. All right, thanks for st All right, thanks for tuning in to the video. We'll see you on the next one.